Welcome back guys, my name's Atheon. The Division beta has recently come to an end. I still have loads of footage and cool Division videos to share with you guys. For now, I just wanted to take a look at all the different customizable cosmetic gear that I got whilst playing the beta. So I got around 40 items, just under 40 items. I didn't get that many. I spent a lot of my time in the dark zone rather than feeding the sort of homeless citizens to get the drops off of them. Let's start through the headwear and work our way down. So I only got one cap, which I wanted to get a few more caps. I weren't a fan of the beanie, but I actually like the beanie style caps now. I've got a lot of slouchy ones, modern slouchy there. Starting off, we have all weather parka. I got this one pretty late on, but I really like it just because it's all red. A lot of the jackets can look pretty similar as we go through them, but that one just stood out to me a bit more because it was red all over. So modern slim jacket, modern trekking jacket next, which is mainly white. It's not very seeable there, but the trim is sort of a light gray color. I did like that one. Puff jacket, I kind of like this just because the style is a bit different with it being puffier, obviously. Simple cargo jacket next. And as you can see, a lot of them are very similar looking. But I think because of the subtle little differences and the fact that you can change everything on a character, that you can come up with some pretty unique looks on your character, despite some of the things being very similar looking. On the trousers, quite a few of the trousers are different, to be fair. So we have the military pants, modern hiking pants, these will go better with the boots, I noticed, because with some of the jeans and things like that, they'll cover up a lot of the boots, but for example, with the slim jeans or the things where the ankle area is a bit tight, that's when you can really see more of the boots, especially if they come up and over. So these bottles pretty slim, we'll be able to see more of the footwear when we get to that. We had a couple of scarves, only three of those, but I think they're pretty cool. I like to use just the bottom one and put it on here just because there was a bit of a sort of reddy colour on it, made it look. But I'm pretty happy with the amount of customization we actually get in this game. Now, there's the three undergarment things. Can't really see much change there, but I believe you've always got to keep one of those on. So you can take off the top layer. So we'll do, take off the top layer and see what it actually looks like underneath. I didn't do this actually while I was playing. But oh, so we've got green arms there. That's pretty different. Actually pretty unique. Character's looking a bit strange now. But that's fine. We're just trying to take a look at a few of the customization options that are available. Because there's going to be loads more when the full game comes out. So cardigan looks okay. But I really like this one with the green arms just because... It looks different. You're not going to see someone running around with a character looking like this one does here, I don't think. So, finally onto the footwear. As you can see, as I was mentioning before there, you can see more of the footwear when it's a more closed off leg rather than a loose leg. The boots sort of coming up and over the jeans of the character there, which is pretty cool. I'm not normally a fan of the summer jeans on this game, but I might try them out if I get a really cool set of boots. But yeah. That is all the customization items we have. We've covered through them all. I did get a few things I liked. A lot of my friends seem to get loads more stuff because they didn't maybe spend as much time just running around the dark zone doing nothing because what I did. But this is all stuff we have to look forward to in the full launch of the game to get our character looking as unique as possible and standing out from the crowd. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, feel free to leave a like. If you'd like to see more Division videos, don't forget to subscribe. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video.